What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and firstly I want to apologise for lack of uploads, I've been really busy the last sort of two weeks uh, or near on two weeks, also I haven't really been watching that much wrestling, I'm not really into the current WWE products so I haven't been watching uh, as religiously as I used to and a lot of that is the reason I'm making this video today. Today guys I am talking about the problem with two night Wrestlemania pay-per-view or premium live events. So, Wrestlemania 38. I'm going to be honest, I'm not that excited. I have never been this down about a Wrestlemania. I mean, normally, immediately after the Royal Rumble, I am just pure Wrestlemania mode for the next couple months. And uh, I have been for the last 12 years. But for some reason this year, I'm just not really that excited for it. And I think a lot of that has to do with the product uh, not being, in my opinion, as good as it could be or not as good as it once was. I just, I've started to tune out a little bit from WWE. I've started to, you know, not pay as much attention. A lot of that is due to creatively, uh, I don't think that they are doing a great job. Um, and it's not really for me right now. You know, I'll pay attention to the main sort of storylines. You know, the Seth Rollins stuff, the Kevin Owens stuff. Uh, you know, obviously Roman and Brock, definitely. Becky and Bianca. Uh, you know, stuff like that I actually pay attention to. But the other stuff, not really. So that's why I want to talk about the issue with Two Night Manias. Now, we all know why WWE want to do a Two Night WrestleMania. After WrestleMania 35 being as long as it was and the fans being super burnt out in the arena and at home. I remember we watched it from like 10 p.m. at night on the kickoff show to like 4.30 in the morning. I don't know. It was a, it was a very, 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 very long shift uh, to watch a show. And that's why they're doing the Two Night Manias. Now, don't get me wrong. There is pros to it. Obviously, there's more opportunities for talent. You've got uh, two individually shorter pay-per-views you know obviously overall length about eight hours but four hours a night it's a pretty decent run time uh but when previous wrestlemanias that are one night have been about four hours you know it's it's one of them do you really need to do two nights because when you do a two night wrestlemania you've got to think about it realistically okay so from january uh, after the royal rumble to late march early april wrestlemania every single year when that has happened i don't know how many weeks are in between but let's just say there's 10 weeks of build i know it's not that but let's just say there is you've got 10 weeks from the rumble to wrestlemania for example in that time on a normal mania you have to build six Seven, eight uh, push matches. Uh, sometimes it wasn't even that much. And you've got to do that every week for 10 weeks. Add something to that storyline, right? And you've got two shows. So let's say we have eight matches. Four from Raw, four from SmackDown. That's 10 weeks, 10 shows to build four storylines. Easy, right? You can have a nice build in that time. But when you've got a two-night WrestleMania and you have to do double the amount of storylines, double the amount of matches in the exact same time frame, everything seems rushed. Everything seems thrown together. Sometimes you'll tune into Raw expecting build for this match and you won't get that until the next week because they're focusing on all the other stuff they have to do for the other night of WrestleMania. And a lot of that is... Matches that have just been put on the card so wrestlers can get that WrestleMania payday, which I see nothing wrong with at all. But when, you know, we don't really need to see these matches. Do we need to see Pat McAfee versus Austin Theory? No. Will it, will it be good? Probably. Do we need to see Logan Paul and The Miz versus The Mysterios? No. Will it be good? Probably. But we don't need to see it. The only reason we are seeing it is so WWE can fill up the card to have a two-night mania. Because no doubt, two-night WrestleManias are much more profitable than one night. Because you're selling out the arena once, and then you're selling out the arena back-to-back -back again. 
So WWE on just revenue alone for ticket sales are doubling their profits, which makes sense. It really does. I'm not suggesting that WWE should go back to a one night mania. I'm just suggesting that maybe a two night WrestleMania doesn't need to be as padded and as stuffed as it is. I don't even know the full card for WrestleMania 38, and I'm sure more stuff is going to be added. But when you've got things going on like NXT Stand and Deliver, hours before night one of WrestleMania, then the Hall of Fame taking place, I think, either on or after SmackDown on the Friday, you have got a solid four days of non-stop wrestling content. And in my opinion, it's too much. It is too much. When you put a takeover on Saturday and WrestleMania on the Sunday, that worked. Because bearing in mind NXT back then, the black and gold brand, the original, or well, not the original, but you know, the, the good NXT, uh, the really great NXT, that was something completely different to the main roster as well. So, you know, you, you had an alternative show and then you had WrestleMania. I don't know what WWE are going to do in the future. I can only presume that two night WrestleManias are a thing that's going to stay. But I think the fact that it is two nights, and also bear in mind in the UK, that means back-to-back -back nights. If I want to get live reactions up, I have to stay up from like 11pm till like half three, four o'clock in the morning just watching the show. Then time to actually edit and upload after that. I won't get to sleep till around 6.30am. Uh, which I'll then probably sleep for a few hours because I don't like laying in and I will naturally wake up about midday to then have to try and stay awake through the day to do it all over again that night. Not to mention I'm working on the Saturday and I could potentially even be wrestling training on the Sunday. So I am going to be absolutely knackered. Um, but that's just me personally. You know, it's uh, it comes with the job. But I think it can be exhausting. Uh, when you have two standalone pay-per-views. And bearing in mind, if you're doing it that way, both nights have to live up to the hype. You can't have night one WrestleMania be super, super boring and then night two be fantastic. They have to match each other. And I think WWE are just... At the moment, uh, my personal opinion, I think they are setting themselves up with a lot of work uh, and a lot of pressure for a creative team that can't necessarily deal with those storylines and don't get me wrong once again there is some great storylines going in the one i mainly forgot to mention can't believe i forgot to mention it because it's one of the matches i'm looking forward to the most edge versus aj styles wow i cannot wait for that um but i have no doubt in my mind the matches are going to live up to the hype but i just don't think going in the storylines have been which has then made me tune out uh, I haven't been watching much. You know, there, there's a Fatal 4-Way women's tag match on that card. And I have no idea what's gone in it, on in that build because I haven't really been paying attention. And for a casual fan, as uh, I guess building up to WrestleMania, I have been a casual fan because I've only been watching little bits. You know, if you're not going to put in loads of time and effort into a storyline, there's no point just throwing it together on the card, in my opinion. You might as well put time and effort in, make it worthwhile, make some money with it, and then put it on the show. But I don't know. Hopefully WrestleMania 38 is going to be great. Uh, but right now, I'm not that excited. Hopefully that's going to change sort of next week uh, in the build-up when I'm like, oh, WrestleMania's this weekend. Uh, hopefully, I, you know, it just hits me. Um, but overall, my lack of excitement really made me think about Maybe is it because it's two nights? Uh, and then I wanted to talk about the problems with two nights, which I mentioned. I think this video is just a bit thrown together. It's just me talking, uh, just giving my honest opinion because I feel like I'm not that excited this year. And I quite want to, I, I really want to know if you guys feel the same. Um, I think it's a lot to do with build. I, I, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below. Anyway, that was my opinion on the problem with two night WrestleMania. Sorry if this video does seem a bit thrown together. I just wanted to set the camera up and talk. We're already getting to 10 minutes, which is absolutely crazy. Uh, so if you're still here, congratulations. Uh, please be sure to give this video a like, comment and subscribe. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Stay tuned for more wrestling content and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.